I'm gonna get you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do you think you're going? What do you mean? Well, if you use a Pythagorean theorem, you would have known to go that way. Why do I need to know the Pythagorean theorem, Baldy? You're telling me you don't know the uses of a Pythagorean theorem? No. What is the Pythagorean theorem, Baldy? Do you hear this guy? Looks like we're gonna have to show him the... Welcome to Baldy's Basics in the Pythagorean Theorem. And today we are teaching my most gifted student, 80s kid from the 80s. Uh, Say hi, it's 80s it's kid. It's actually 80s cool 80s skater kid. Ah, yes. Cool 80s skater kid. You know, your parents are not kind. Anyways, you know, today we're going to teach you how to do a Pythagorean theorem. Do you know what a Pythagorean theorem is? Do you know how to Pythagorean the theorem? No, I have no idea how to do the Pythagorean theorem. Ow. What you would do here is take the A and subtract and subtract it from the B. So subtracting the top slant from the bottom <coughs> straight line. Thanks for that, you disgusting pig. <laughs> Anyways, now you would, well no, you wouldn't actually do that. First, you would take the two numbers you already have and put them to the second square. 7.7 .7 squared is, what would that be? 7.7 squared? You're dumb, it's 59.29. Oh, okay. And the bottom 6.4 inches, I bet you're very familiar with a low number of inches. Anyway, 6.4 squared would be 40.96 squared. So when we, and now that we have those two, we can use our handy dandy cheating calculator to, can, can you stop doing that? Like, oh my God. I know what you're doing. You're not funny, buddy. I am in control of your future. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying before some weirdo brutally interrupted me, you would take the 6.4 and the 7.1, 7.7, and subtract them from each other after getting the square root. So you subtract the square roots to get 18.33. Any questions so far? You're too slow to think of a question? Uh... Come on, buddy, we're on say the that again, but, like, slower? Oh, you need to be on the same place as you. Okay. So, you take the 7.7 and have it be square. Then you subtract that from the square root of 6. Well, no, not from the squared version of 6.6, 6, 6. 4. And then you subtract the two yeah. of them to get 18.43. What are you talking about? Were you dropped? No. I don't believe you. Just continue, please. Yes, yes. And then once you take the 18.33, what you're going to do that, you're going to get the square root of it. Uh -huh. Of the, the square root of 18.33. To get 4.28135492529. But I know, that's a lot of numbers for you. I get it, you're not good with numbers, or much of anything else. So, in other words, 4.3? Yes, because you round it up. Wow, you do able to know knowledge. Yay! Is that, is that gut full of just knowledge, or a little bit more? Uh, I'm joking, I'm not allowed to fat shame my students anymore. Anyways, now that we take that 4.3, that is correct! Well done! Yay! Yay! I learned Pythagoras! Not yet, stupid. What? We need two more examples because two clearly more? you're thick in the head. Oh, well, that's a little rude. I won't. You know what else is a bit rude? 
Right. Showing up to my classroom in a Fortnite Battle Royale hat, and then when you proceed to not know what the Pythagorean theorem is, you continue to wear it on the air in front of millions of people on my show. Bodies, basics, and Pythagorean theorem. Dense. Now that you have pertained new knowledge, I want you to come up with an example using this triangle. Oh man. Well, wow, you sound smarter in the voice. Seems easy enough. Yeah, it should be. You should have learned this years ago. You're in high school, buddy. Uh Kid, you're 22 years old. You're you're older than my child. Well, I guess that's not too much of a lie. Yep, you did. Yeah. What is that so hard to believe? Kinda. That's so hard to believe, huh? <laughs> it's not. It's not hard to believe. That's weird. Anyway, as I was saying, come with a cool example here of this triangle shown on screen right here. Hmm. So imagine I'm running down the track, but first prize is also running a straight line in the triangle motion while I'm running diagonal. On the track. Yeah, on the track. Okay. Well, and, and you're both running 8.9 centimeters and 8.7 centimeters straight to get to your destination. Or you what is the length of the track? Right, you could say 8.9 feet, but then again, that is... Quite un unachievable. That is quite the feat. Yeah, quite unachievable for someone like me. Clearly. Clearly. Anyway. Anyways, now you need to find the length of the track to figure out the whole thing away. So what would you do in this situation? Well, it, se it seems pretty obvious. Yeah, it so, does. You should have learned this four years a, ago. So it's A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Yeah. And B is 8.8. .8, I should know to put 8.8 .8 squared right where B is. Well, let me tell you something, something dumbass. You are wrong! What? <laughs> dumbass. Oh, man. Anyways, what you, have to, what, you have to, what you have to do here is sense the side length is what you need to find out. You need to subtract the two numbers. You only add them together when you're finding out the diagonal line. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, indeed. That is good to know for next time. Yes, it is. Anyway, how would you solve this equation now that you have the proper knowledge? So I put, so if you allow me to use this device. Which I do. Then, I will, have, I will happily show you. I do an 8.9 to the power of 2. Hold on there, boy. Because before we continue, what is that neat device you have there? It says it on the top. That you can... Wait. An ASUS? No! The patent pending! You can think it pad! Wow! You can think pad? Yes, I just said the you can think pad. The you can think pad? The you can think pad. That's very good. That's very thick. <laughs> yes, the you can think pad for only $299.99.99.99 divided by two, figure that one out at home, is where you can think it. Yes, that is indeed the name. Dumbass. This, this device is so good for solving math problems. It's so Every, every think. math teacher around the world uses it. Well, not yet. But if you go to my Kickstarter and pay $300,000 divided by two because I need to pay my mortgage, then you can possibly get your grimy, disgusting hands on a you can think it's pad. Three hundred dollars? That's so cheap! I know, right? It's not three hundred dollars, dumbass. The point is still here, I guess. Anyway, what can you do with a you can think it pad? Well, let's use an example using the Pythagorean theorem! What he said. Anyways, Think of a problem you could use the Pythagorean theorem on. This time, use the diagonal length as the mystery length. Diagonal length. Diagonal. Yes. Diagonal length. Yes. So, 
If I have, if I'm running 9.1 centimeters, uh, the straight, uh -huh. yeah. and someone else is running, I don't know. How, how could I figure it out? Well, this time, you two are not meeting at the same point. You are trying to figure out how you would meet at the same point, instead of figuring out the length of how you got to the same point. Like, for example, you're running this way, but the person is running up. How diagonal, like, what is the meters in diagonality that they would have to run if the side length is 8.9 and the bottom length is 10.3 feet? What would the diagonal line, aka the more feet your opponent would have to go for them to at least tie with you? Because there's no winning that one. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Yeah. And obviously, I would have to do 8.9 to the power of 2, which would be... Using the Yukon finger pad, even this dumbass can figure it out. Take one minute. Okay. Got it. Did you do this? Seventy nine point twenty one. Yeah. Seventy nine point twenty one. And now, what would you do with that bottom at ten point two feet? Since ten point two feet squared is in the C, I would. No, would... it's not. It's in the B. Oh yeah. Thank you for reminding me, Baldy. You're welcome. You could have figured that out if you were using the You Can Bang It pad. Google doesn't teach you this shit, now does it? Anyway, what would the answer to that be? 104.04. Yes. Now you're going to take those two numbers and add them together. Okay. Got this. Give him a minute. He's a bit slow. Yeah. A hundred and seventy-six point twenty-five. Is that the answer to the whole problem? No, it's not. Hell no, it isn't. What do you have to do now? Do you know what you have to do now? Hmm. It has something to do with a square. As does everything here. You have to get the square root of the square root. 176.25. Yeah, now he's getting it. If he keeps getting this, maybe I'll get paid enough to fix my dumbass teeth. Let's give him a couple more minutes. A bit longer. Sorry, this thing is kind of difficult to work. No, it's not because it's the you can think of it for only three ninety nine ninety nine ninety nine divided I by two. You figured it out. You did. It's thirteen point three. Is that the answer to the equation? Of course it is. How about you check? Yay! Oh yeah! Looks like you have solved a whole three. Of my equation. Woohoo!
can solve this problem easily. 9.2 squared equals 84.64 squared. your head, young one. I present to you the graduation ceremony. Your graduation thing was sent in your email. Now rise. Congratulations. Now here's your congratulation cap. Jeez, thanks, Baldy. You're welcome, 80 smart, cool kid. It's also oddly sweaty, but that is besides the point. Namaste, young man. Namaste.